Hello, and welcome to the SnapDX at-home self-screening kit for COVID-19 instructions for use videos. In this kit, you will find two SnapDX tubes, two funnels, one reusable cup with lid, two disinfectant wipes, one ice pack, one instruction packet, and two Ziploc bags, which hold kit contents. You will also need two cups of boiling water. The cup with lid, ice pack, and instruction packet are meant to be used for both tests. All other components are single use only. It is important to note that this is a screening test and not a diagnostic test. The results shown on this device serve as a probability indicator for the detection of COVID-19. Preparation. In preparation for this test, it is important that you do not eat, drink, smoke, chew anything, or use any oral hygiene products at least 30 minutes prior to this test. It is also important that you thoroughly wash your hands with soap and water and dry them before you begin the test. When you are ready to begin, find a good, clean, flat surface, then open the cup lid to remove the kit components. You will need one of each of these items to conduct this test. Keep the remaining items in the refrigerator and not a freezer. Let's take a minute and note the different parts of the SnapDX. Here, you'll see the tube, the blue twist cap, the clear twist cap, the fill line, the clip, the plunger, the stopper, and the button. Next, boil two cups of water in a separate container or in a pot on a stove. Do not use the provided cup to boil the water. While the water is boiling, begin the test. Step 1. Unscrew the blue cap and carefully slide it upward on the plunger. Stop when it reaches the black stopper. Then, insert and press the funnel into the open top of the SnapDX tube. Place your lips over the funnel and spit into the funnel until the saliva reaches the fill line as seen from the outside of the tube. It may take a minute or two to generate enough saliva to get to the fill line. It is okay to wait until you are able to refill your mouth with saliva. When you have completed your sample collection, remove the funnel and insert it into one of the supplied Ziploc bags. Then, screw the blue cap back onto the tube, making sure it's closed very tightly. While moving the cap, be careful to not move the plunger through the SnapTX tube. If your plunger has moved, please reposition it before starting the test. Then, use the disinfectant wipe to wipe the full exterior of the now sealed tube. Step 2. Clip the SnapDX tube so that the clear cap is on the top. Use the clip on the outside of the tube to hang the SnapDX tube on the inside rim of the provided cup. Once the water has boiled and you can see bubbles forming on the surface of the water, pour the water into the provided cup until it reaches the same fill line as indicated on the outside of the tube. Do not go beyond this fill line. Leave the SnapDX tube in the boiling water for 3 minutes. Step 3. When the 3 minutes is up, carefully remove the SnapDX tube from the cup by holding the clip on the side to avoid touching the hot surfaces of the tube. The boiling process inactivates any active viral particles that may be present, so by this step, the saliva sample is safe to handle without additional disinfection. Place the SnapDX tube on a horizontal surface and allow it to cool at room temperature for one minute. While waiting, put the lid on the cup of hot water and set it aside for a later step. Do not discard the water. Step 4. Once the tube has been resting for one minute, hold the SnapDX tube and use the button to carefully push the plunger up through the tube until the button reaches the blue cap. Then, while still holding the tube, use your thumb to push hard on the button until it is slightly indented. Keep pushing until a small paper disc is visible inside the plunger, just above the clear cap. Step 5. With the blue cap and button still facing down, hold the SnapDX tube 
and gently tap the button against the table or surface until the two colored liquids have dropped and merged within the glass tube inside the plunger. Step 6. Now remove the lid from the cup of hot water and drop the SnapDX tube into the cup of water with the blue cap facing down. This time, do not use the clip and allow the SnapDX tube to be completely submerged in the water. Then, reattach the lid onto the cup and leave the tube in the cup of water for 40 minutes. It is during this time that the amplification reaction is running within the plunger. After 40 minutes, remove the cup lid and carefully remove the tube from the cup and dry the tube and plunger. Immediately look for the color within the glass tube in the plunger. If the hue is bright purple or deep orange, then the test did not detect COVID-19 in your sample. If the hue is bright yellow, then the test has detected COVID-19 in your sample. Please note that results visualized beyond 5 minutes after removing the tube from the water are considered unreliable. If there is no visible liquid in the plunger, in the area above the white cap, then the test is faulty. Be sure to check the color metric chart on the instruction sheet for a reference. Please refer to the FAQ page on the snapdx.org website for more information. It is also important to remember that this is a screening test and not a diagnostic test. The results shown on this device serve as a probability indicator for COVID-19. If COVID-19 was detected in your results, please contact your healthcare provider for further instructions. If you are experiencing fever, cough, or any other COVID-related symptoms, please contact your healthcare provider, regardless of the test results. Now that you have completed the test and you know your results, you may put the SnapDX tube in the supplied Ziploc bag along with the funnel that was used and dispose with your daily household products. For more information regarding this test, please visit the www.snapdx.org website. If you have had difficulty or any questions following these steps, please make sure to check out the FAQ or Frequently Asked Questions page on the site.